Hi boys and girls, today we're going to talk about addition and subtraction. So we have learned about the plus sign for adding and the minus sign for subtracting. Today we're going to review what we do when we see a plus sign and what we do when we see a minus sign. Okay, let's try a subtraction problem. We're using the minus sign and we're taking away. So if I'm looking at my math paper and it just has the number sentence, 4 minus 2 equals, and I'm trying to figure out what goes in the blank, I can draw a picture to help me. So we always start out with the bigger number. We have 4 to begin with. How many are we taking away? Two. This line means we're taking away two. So I'm going to cross out two. And how many are left? Two. Okay, read the number sentence with me. Ready? Four minus two equals two. Now let's try one with a plus sign. So what if I'm looking at my paper and it says three plus one equals, how do I figure it out? Well, I can draw a picture. One, two, three. Now what do I do if it's a plus sign? I'm going to add one more because this is one, so I'll put a circle here. Now let's count how many we have all together. One, two, three, four. So can you read the number sentence with me? Three plus one equals four. Okay, let's take a look at these two problems. Take a close look. They look almost the same, but there's something that's different. Do you spot it? This one has a plus sign and this has a minus sign. So the numbers are the same, but the sign changes what we do. So let's look at the top one. If it's a plus sign, we're gonna take three plus one. That means we add them together, count them all up. So we have one, two, three, plus one more. So we count them all. One, two, three, four. What does three plus one equal? Four. On this one, it's a minus sign, so we change what we do. We have three. We take away one. So that means we're going to cross one out. How many are left? Two. Read this number sentence with me. 3 minus 1 equals 2. Okay, let's take a look at these before you try your practice page. So if we are adding, with the plus sign, remember we add, if we're adding 0, does it change what we have? If I have 4 donuts and my friend gives me 0, how many do I still have? I still have 4. So 4 plus 0 is 4. Now what if I'm subtracting? If I have 4 donuts and I take away 0, I still have four donuts, so four minus zero is four. When you are subtracting or adding zero, the number that you started with doesn't change. This is your practice page, but I've highlighted the plus and minus with red and green. Let's take a closer look. Look at number one together. So this is a minus sign, so we're going to subtract. We're taking away. So we have one, two, three, four, five. How many do we take away? Zero, so we still have five. 5 minus 0 is 5. Now, I've marked the plus signs green just to remind you that when you see a plus sign, you're adding together the numbers that you see. So let's look over here at number 4. 2 plus 1 equals, so let's draw 2. The pictures help us when we're adding. And then we have 1, so 2 plus 1 is 1, 2, 3. 2 plus 1 is 3. Okay, boys and girls, I'm just going to remind you one more time, when you're doing your practice page today, you have to be like a detective. You have to look really close to see if you are supposed to subtract with a minus sign or add with a plus. Be sure and take your time and do your best and let your teacher know if you have any questions.